Hello everyone, this is HGJ Halloween. I hope you guys are having a great day, and today I am going to show you guys my plans for my 2017 haunted house. Brand new, I'm super excited for it. So as you can see, this picture is pretty basic, just using circles for where the props are going to go and things. But I just drew this like this morning, so I wanted to get this video out for you guys. But in the future, for the future plan videos, I still have to show you guys the outside. And there will also be more detailed drawings of each hallway. So I might do a video on each hallway in depth, what's going to happen um, for those. So right now, I'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown of what I'm going to be talking about later in this video. I'm actually going to go ahead and take you guys out into the garage where the haunted house is going to be and walk around and show you where each thing is going to be located inside the garage. So you enter on the right-hand side, side of the garage. There's going to be a big sign up at the top of my garage. I'll end up showing you guys some pictures um, later when we get into future build videos and uh, idea videos. And there's going to be a huge sign that says Haunted House Written in Blood. It's going to be epic. You go in on the right. There's body bags, so you cannot see in. Then there's going to be Twitching Banshee. As soon as you get through, you know, trying to get through those body bags, Twitching Banshee jumps out at you. She's going to be put on repeat loud. It's going to be blasting outside. You're going to hear it and you're not going to want to go in there. Then you turn the corner and you've got Levitator Girl. There's going to be that static zombie prop that I uh, had showed you guys before in a review. Levitator Girl right to your left in her bed. She's going to rise up. This is going to be the doll hallway here. It's going to have the same atmosphere as the bedroom display we had outside. That's being replaced with something new that I can't tell you yet. Then you're going to have Peekaboo Penny next to a dresser with as many terror toys as I can purchase this year. And then in the corner is going to be Menacing Molly. I know she's going to be a favorite this year. Super excited to, to order her. Then you're going to come around the corner. It's going to be a dark, long hallway with some crosses, upside down crosses on the walls with just dim red lights on the walls. You can't really see anything except at the end of the hallway is a flickering white light on floating ghost girl. And that's all you're going to be able to see. This is going to be a room. This is going to be a hallway that you look down and shit your pants. That's my goal here. Then you're going to turn the last corner into the last hallway, which is the torture hallway. And on your right-hand side is going to be a shelf with all these body parts. Um, there's going to be a lot of different things, a lot of decoration. Well, you know, body parts we're going to decorate this room with, blood and everything. There's going to be PVC drawn across the top. And there's going to be heads hanging down, body parts hanging down that you're going to have to work your way through. There's going to be a torture prop, which is still a mystery what that's going to be. Um, I'm trying to find one online, but it's difficult to find props as cheap as Spirit Halloween props. You know, the cheapest one I can find so far is $600. So we're going to have to see what ends up happening with that. But let me go ahead out to the garage and show you guys an actual walkthrough of where everything's going to be. Of course, the walls are not up yet, but it'll give you guys a good idea and it'll be a good first video to start off the season and the builds. Okay, so now that you guys saw the actual picture of what I'm going to be doing, I've taken you guys out here into the garage. And by the way, I am filming on a GoPro Hero 5, which this year I will be using this camera to film the majority of my videos. Um, the ones that aren't just me talking over pictures like the past few videos have been. But when I'm doing my actual prop reviews, my actual setups, this is what I'm going to be filming on. So hopefully you guys like this quality. The lighting in here isn't too great, but all I want to do is go ahead and actually walk you guys through in this room where everything is going to be. Um, now that you know what's going to be here, I want to show you where it's going to be. So we are still pretty far out from Halloween. However, we are less than 100 days away, which is insane. I can't believe time flies, man. I cannot believe that we're so close to this year's Halloween. It feels like just yesterday that I was taking down the 2016 display. But this year, we are, out, we are upping the game, guys. I'm doing an entire indoor haunted house, and I think you guys are going to love this haunted house. But even though we're still pretty far out from Halloween, this is the time of year that us haunters need to start thinking about what is our haunt going to be for this season. Of course, I sort of have an idea for what everything's gonna be a while back. I mean, even during 2016, I have an idea for what 2018 is going to be. It's just that once Spirit Halloween starts releasing the sneak peeks, everything sort of falls together around this time. So I've had the same general idea for this haunted house since November of last year. 
But now, uh, with these sneak peeks, there are a few new props from 2017 that are going to be incorporated into this haunted house, as you guys can see. And even though we still have about five or six more sneak peeks to go, I'm pretty sure this is pretty much final for what I'm going to do um, with my haunt. Um, I do know the names of the other props, and I don't think any of them are really what I'm looking for. But of course, we'll just have to wait and see because sometimes there could be a prop that's a surprise that wasn't what you were expecting um, just based off of the name. But I'm pretty sure the props that I have here now are what's going to end up being there come October. So the garage door is closed right now, but obviously on Halloween, it's going to be open and there's going to be a wall right here to over here, okay? So you're gonna have an exit here and you're gonna have an entrance here. Now I did all the measurements yesterday and the hallways will be about four feet and four inches wide because that was my biggest worry. Are we gonna have enough space in here to do four hallways? It's a lot to fit into here. So you're gonna enter here and the entrance is gonna be a little bit thinner than four feet four inches because you have this extra space on this wall here that you don't see from the outside. But the thing is, is that I did have to take into account the fact that we're gonna have two by fours for the walls. And so that's two inches taken off. So I took all that into account, so my measurements are pretty accurate. So you can imagine there's gonna be a two by four here and you're gonna have a little bit of extra space, a little bit larger than the entrance. So once you come in here, you're gonna walk this way. The wall should be about right here. Um, it's not that much space, but we're gonna work with it. Above you is going to be PVC. Now you're not really gonna see the PVC. There's going to be um, body bags hanging down and there's gonna be a lot of body bags. So the point of the body bags that I wanted to try to do was instead of having the um, tarp that's kind of has little fringes in it for you to walk through in the entrance, which is what the exit's gonna be like, I wanted the body bags to kind of serve as the entrance door for this. So you're not going to be able to see um, inside, but Twitching Banshee, if you walk here, you're gonna walk all the way back. Twitching Banshee will be right here in this corner. Now obviously I don't want people to know that my front door is right there. So the walls are gonna be six feet tall and there's gonna be a wall right here and it's going to uh, start right there. So there's a little bit of space that we're kind of cutting out here. But these lockers, the refrigerator, everything would be blocked off by that back wall. So Twitching Banshee will be right here and she will be set on continuous mode. So she's just gonna be continuously running. And the point of that is then we don't have to have someone to activate her because I like to have family and friends in here to activate the props because their sensors tend to be really bad and we know that about Spirit Halloween props. Um, so I'm gonna just have her on continuous and she's just gonna be screaming and it's gonna be really cool because from the entrance, you're not gonna be able to see what's going on but you're gonna be able to hear her screams for sure and I'll make sure her volume is really high. So then you're gonna turn the corner and the turns will have four feet of space. Um, in between the wall, a little bit less, four inches less space than you have in the regular hallway. So you're gonna turn here, right in this corner will be that, um, that static zombie girl that I did a review on earlier. A majority of these props that are in here, I have videos on my channel of them from the past, other than the new ones. And then right to your left, immediately, is going to be the um, levitator girl. Now this was something I decided on just this morning because at first I told you guys when I was reviewing the Levitator sneak peek that she was overpriced. I didn't really have a spot for her and I was probably just gonna get her, excuse me, on the clearance sale. However, I was thinking about this hallway. This is the doll hallway here. So now you guys will know what I'm talking about when I say my doll hallway in my haunted house. Um, doll, bedroom, it's basically like the outdoor theme of last year brought into this one hallway. But I was thinking about it and it seemed like there was a lot of empty space. And I really want it to be full. I don't want it to, I want to avoid it just looking like we took eight spirit Halloween props and threw them in random locations in these hallways. I want to have tons of decorations. I also don't want to have empty space where it's just a wall, you know? I don't want to have too much of that, unless that's 
what I'm going for in a certain area. Um, so I was realizing that this entire wall here is going to be kind of bare. So I think I'm probably going to do this. I'm going to make Levitator Girl a two foot wide bed. She's about 14 inches um, wide herself. So then I would go ahead and give her a 24 inch bed. So that's going to take up about half of this floor. And I looked at two feet. It doesn't look too skinny. Like it's like, is this really a bed? Like, what is that? It looks just about right to give us enough space, but also not look like weird because I'm trying to make it a bed. So she will be on a cardboard bed that will probably have to be reinforced underneath with little PVC poles or something so that she doesn't break through the cardboard. So she'll be right here. You'll be standing right at her feet right here. And then she rises really well. I really do like her. It's just the overpriced thing. It's just the overpriced. I won't be pre-ordering her. I'll probably be purchasing her in store, but I'm hoping to get that and have her right here. Then on the wall, we'll have some pictures and things. You got the zombie girl there. Then you walk here and Peekaboo Penny is gonna be right up against this wall. And right next to her is gonna be a dresser. It's gonna look similar to the one that was in my bedroom last year, but it's gonna be a lot taller this time and a lot bigger. It's not gonna be the exact same one. We don't even have that dresser. Um, so it's gonna be a white dresser. It's gonna have all the terror toys, the teddy bears. I'm gonna get some new things. That girl that's like sewing her mouth. Um, you know, I'm just gonna get a ton of terror toys to put in this area. I really wanna make it all decked out. And Peekaboo Penny will be standing right next to the dresser. She's a classic. Um, and in this hallway is going to be my cousin Lauren. She's gonna be dressed like a doll like she was last year. Um, hopefully she is okay with doing that again because she's gonna have a lot of props to activate in this room here. And so right in this corner, once you get all the way to the end of this hallway, is going to be Menacing Molly. She's gonna be hanging from a PVC across the corner there. So she's gonna be facing the corner directly. And what I wanted to avoid was if she came straight out from the wall and wasn't in the corner, she takes up three and a half feet of space. So she'd almost kind of block your turn here. It'd be a little bit difficult. But if I put her in the corner, she'll come out to about right here and you'll still be able to kind of get around her. Um, I just don't, I just hope nobody just runs into it and that would be bad. But um, originally I was going to have Broken Spine Girl here and she would take up even more space. So that's okay. Broken Spine Girl is going back where she was last season. So Menacing Molly is going to be hanging from a PVC pipe in the corner and she's going to do her stuff right here to finish off the doll hallway. Now you turn, you're halfway through. It's not that big of a space, but trust me, it's going to be utilized really well. So. You're halfway through, and this is the hall that I want people to turn and be like, oh, hell no. Okay, you're gonna look straight down. There's gonna be no props in this hallway, except for right at the end, right there, is gonna be floating ghost girl with a flickering light, and it's gonna be so dark in here, so the lighting is gonna be incredible. And she is going to just be at the end of this hallway with nothing else, looking down. And on the walls here is gonna be a bunch of upside down crosses, anti-Christ symbols, not to offend anybody, but this is like the possession um, hallway, like demon kind of thing. Just really creepy atmosphere. And the lighting for this hallway will be really dim. There's just going to be red lights up on the top of the wall that shine directly onto the wall, not onto the floor. So it's completely dark, but you have this dim red lighting so you can see the walls. And then at the end, it's going to be her flickering, and it's going to be really, really creepy. And um, Floating Ghost Girl, I wish she was a little bit better. She's not that good of a jump scare, to be honest, but she looks really good um, when she has that flickering light on her. And, of course, all this stuff here will be out of the way. All this stuff there will be out of the way. Um, then her step pad will actually be underneath of this wall so that my cousin in the doll hallway can activate her as soon as people turn this corner. So she's hopefully for most people that enter the haunted house, if everything goes right, will be floating when they turn the corner, okay? So then they come here, uh, they get past floating ghost girl, and 
they come into this hallway. Now immediately to the right is going to be this thing. I don't want to move this whole shelf because it's really heavy. It has a lot of shit on it and I don't really want to move it. I'm not sure what it would be like if it didn't have the stuff on it, if it would be able to move, but I think it's in an okay spot. And once again, the wall is going to come up to here and you will not see this refrigerator here. So I'm going to have to take all of this stuff off and just pack it all into the shed, I guess. Um, and then what's going to go on here is body parts, legs, brains, hearts, heads. This is going to be the torture hallway. So you have your body bag, twitching banshee hallway, just kind of the introduction hallway. Then you have your doll, little girl hallway. Then you have your possession, floating ghost girl hallway. And then you come to your final hallway, which is the torture hallway. You're looking at the end. The exit is going to be tarp that is shredded so you can get through, but you can't see out directly. Um, so no one will be able to see in either from the exit. Um, and so then you're walking here, you see these body parts. There's going to be a similar things to how it was over there at the start. There's gonna be PVC across the top. And there's, there's gonna be PVC across the top in majority of the hallways because that's where the lighting is going to be attached and all of the wiring is going to go up on top of the display. So six feet should give me enough space. Hopefully we don't have some crazy seven foot tall person because they would run into all of the PVC. But I don't think that's gonna happen. We might even make it a little bit taller. We might make it seven feet um, just to make sure that doesn't happen. But so the PVC will be right here and heads and body parts will be hanging from it. You know how Spirit Halloween has all of those different heads that hang? Um, those are really expensive too. That's going to be like, if we buy a bunch of those, that's going to end up costing the same as a prop. So that's kind of worries me a little bit, but the heads will be hanging here. And then right in this area, you see there's a little bit more space on this wall here. Um, so there's going to be chicken wire coming out, looking like a cage kind of thing. And inside there, maybe we'll even hang um, something from, hang it from here if it's a hanging prop. But that's going to be some sort of torture prop. I do not think Spirit Halloween is going to have a torture prop this year based off of the names that I have. I am going to wait. I'm going to look at all of the rest of the sneak peeks. And if they do not have a torture prop, I think I'm going to buy, it just needs to be something that's being electrocuted, something that's being sawed. I know they've had props like that in the past, but they aren't as good as they would be if they made one this year. So I'm going to look for one on a different website, maybe Fright Props or something. Um, you know, we don't have to have all Spirit Halloween props, but I really do need something that's being tortured. I was thinking about High Voltage Zombie, but he just isn't the same. He's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a zombie. I need something that's a human being tortured in some way. So that's going to be there. And of course, there's going to be a lot more decoration. As soon as I start actually setting this up um, in October, we're going to start building it very soon. It's going to take a long time to build, but we want to keep have be able to have our cars in the garage. So... We won't start actually assembling it until October 1st is our plan here. But, you know, I'm going to be able to be assembling it. I'm going to be able to put props out because it's not outside, so it won't all be last minute. The props will be in here. I'll do build videos for you guys. I know last year it was really difficult for me to film build videos and also build. It just didn't really uh, work right. My build videos didn't really have a lot of stuff in them, but this year I'm hoping that I'm going to try to do better. Maybe I'll just mount the GoPro sometimes when we're drilling things, cutting things. It's difficult to film and build, but I could just give you guys updates at the, at the least. But as I look at it, there'll be more and more um, decorations on the walls. You know, if it looks empty in a certain spot, maybe we'll get another prop. And then my brother will be in this hallway. His only job is going to be to activate this torture prop. That is literally all that he is going to have to do. Um, he doesn't really want to be a part of it that much, but I think he will once he sees how cool it's going to look in October. Um, and he has the best job too, because he's going to have a chainsaw and chase people out um, this exit right here. So that is my entire 
2017 haunted house. Now, do not get disappointed. The outdoor area is still going to be there, and I will release those ideas later on. That's later down the line. I do have pictures of what's going to replace the bedroom. It's not going to be a bedroom. It's going to be really cool this year. It's going to incorporate Limb Ripper. That's a little bit of a hint there. Um, and everything other than the replacement for the bedroom, outdoor is going to be pretty much exactly the same. Um, that's because it was going to be a little bit different, but I ended up deciding to replace the Broken Spine Girl with Menacing Molly, so that's a little bit different there. And then Menace, the, float, the Broken Spine Girl is going to be in the exact same spot. Um, the Cerberus, the Black Widow, all in the same spot. Sitting Scarecrow, all in the same spot. And then you've got the replacement. The, the bedroom will be different. That's a big difference because that was like the main thing. There won't be a crime scene this year. If you remember last year, I'll go ahead and leave a link to last year's video. There won't be a crime scene um, because I want you to be able to access this entrance here and it'll just make it a little bit more open because if the crime scene was there, you kind of have to go around the crime scene to get in. I don't know, maybe we will do a crime scene. It just depends. Um, Smoldering Zombie will be in the same spot. Swinging Zombie Girl will be in the same spot. So outdoor part is going to look pretty good, but this is what it's going to be all about. If a kid is too scared to come in here, then that's fine. The candy will be um, out there. I will be managing the outdoor area because then I figure I can hand out the candy. I can walk around, make sure the um, replacement for the bedroom, I was about to say what it was going to be, um, is working, Every, all the props there are working, and then every so often, if we have a huge crowd that comes in, um, since it is a little bit tight, I might be worried that someone's going to bust something, and so I'll just come in, do a check, ask Jason and my cousin if things are going well and how everything's doing. So, yeah guys, it's basically going to sum it up for this video. This ended up being kind of a run-on, but this is my first idea video for you guys. More detailed images and pictures will be coming out later. Um, I hope this video got you guys thinking about Halloween. It was something that I wanted to do. It was different than the sneak peek videos because I wanted to come out and talk about what I'm planning on doing um, for this season. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>